Welcome to the Weekend Investing Special Educational Series. Uh, here we are addressing new users to the market and some older users who are yet to find their, you know, real uh, rhythm in the market and understand several concepts of the market, the basic concepts. So today we are going to talk about BBC principle. This is a term that we have coined ourselves, and what it uh, stands for is Bhav Bhagwan Che. You would have heard this uh, Gujarati saying in the past, Bhav Bhagwan Che, which in English translates to price is God. What this means is that usually when we find that price is, you know, not where we expect it to be. Let's say there is a stock where we've had some announcement of a great result and uh, the price has already run up before that result. Uh, you know, discounting that entire change in that stock. So that that's where we are saying price is God. Price has already, you know, adjusted itself to the new reality. So when we say price is God, it means that the price at any point of time is always right. We may have our assumptions, our forecasts, our predictions, but price at any point is the right price. It may change over time as the demand and supply for that asset changes. But for that moment, the price is always right. So that is the concept of price uh, is God. And that all external and internal factors that influence any particular stock movement, uh, you know, it may be uh, fundamentally driven issues, it may be liquidity driven issues, are always encompassed and you know already acknowledged and uh, and and uh, imbibed in the price at any moment this is the whole concept of bhav bhagwan ji i hope you are following me here now let's take some examples now modi ji visits usa recently and uh, it's a great achievement uh, to you know to announce several large uh, orders, uh, for instance, uh, a tie-up, a collaboration between Hindustan Aeronautics Limited and General Electric, and they are going to make uh, fighter jet planes, uh, engines in India, which will, of course, have a great technology transfer, and you know it will boost our uh, capability in terms of defense equipment, etc. So it's a great leap forward. It's a huge announcement. But how does it, you know, encompass in, into the price as such? So let's take a look at the Hindustan Aeronautics chart. Now, obviously, when the announcement is made in the third week of June, that, you know, this kind of collaboration is happening and, uh, you know, the announcement is timed to be there at, when the prime minister visits that country. It is not that, you know, that announcement has come out of thin air on that day. Of course, there have been arrangements and meetings and, you know, uh, deliberations happening for months together as to this is where we want to uh, achieve. This is what we want to achieve. And this is the point of time by when we want to announce this. So what happens is, and there is nothing wrong in it. I'm not saying nothing, anything wrong has happened or anything like this. This is, this is the, how the world works. So maybe some committee from General Electric, maybe some committees from the Defense Ministry, from Hindustan Aeronautics would have met several months back. Maybe this was a project that has been, you know, brewing since several years and now it has been brought to fruition. Now what has happened is as we come nearer to the terminal date of announcement, more and more people know about this kind of development. More and more people are privy to the fact that this is coming and it is going to impact positively the Hindustan aeronautics stock. Now, just look at this chart from uh, June onwards. Of course, the run has started much, much before many months earlier, but specifically from June onwards, it has literally gone parabolic stock going from 3000 to almost 4000 within this short span of time of a couple of weeks before the announcement and see what happens after the announcement. The stock just, you know, it, it, becomes a, a, a stagnated stock uh, for many days post the announcement because the, the, the flurry of that excitement 
is already has been uh, you know imbibed into the price by people who are already in the know and you know these kind of news spread like wildfire so some uh, somebody who was who had been the committee would talk to 10 different people those 10 different people will talk to 100 different people and it's a network effect that happens and gradually this percolates into the demand for that stock going up and resultingly the price has also changed now one would expect that at that announcement you know the stock would have hit uh, some circuit or you know retail investors will gush in and buy it like anything they would have done that but because of the selling pressure of the people who are already in who have already made a ton of money uh, you know makes it a mute uh, uh, performance from from that particular point onwards and that's what you are seeing in this chart the classic case of what we call sell on news buy on rumor sell on news is the adage that always you know you will hear in the market and most of the time it will work because the markets are porous however much we may not like the concept that you know the market should be perfect the announcement should come to the market and there should have been no leakage at all it does not work like this neither in india nor in any part of the world so this is natural but we need to understand these phenomena to make sure that we don't fall prey to you know when so 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 one thing you must always uh, understand is whenever you find that some news that you are reading especially in the newspaper you know if you are reading a news in the newspaper it has already been discounted so there is nothing new that you will read in the newspaper because it is already 12 hours 18 hours 24 hours late anything you are reading on social media or watching on television is also a fraction of few minutes few seconds few hours late so there is enough you know inefficiency in the system for this news to percolate so that you know people will come together and change the price by the time the common man will come to know about it the same works on the other side also by the time you will come to know that something bad has gone in the company or the results are really bad or you know the 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 promoters have done some bungling in corporate governance issue is there in the company by that time the price has already adjusted for it so you are usually late if you react to the news in the market let's take another example very recently icici securities announced a delisting of its stock and that there are uh, the, the board meeting is yet to be done as we are shooting this video but there is possibility that icici security uh, stock will get uh, swapped with icici shares or they may get some cash payout but nevertheless because icici security stock had been languishing since last 4 5 years not really even performing with the market the value that people see which may come out of it is much higher than where it was at market price now let's take a look at the charts this announcement was made uh, you know on 26th of uh, june the announcement uh, happened just you know at the end of the weekend post the market close on friday but see what is the uh, movement on the previous two days so this previous two day movement clearly shows you that without any public information the stock moved from 510 odd rupees to 570 almost a 15% jump has happened before me and you have even you know got any access to this information that a delisting is coming because when the delisting is getting announced to the uh, exchange already you know several pockets in the company know about it the company secretary the cas the the directors uh, you know maybe even some associate companies so so there is percolation from everywhere that happens or there may have been uh, you know uh, some some other kind of associations uh, like for instance when if there is something new in a announcement or a or a board or uh, or, or an annual report for instance the annual report preparation goes through several rounds of several weeks of editing you know somebody is writing that somebody is printing it somebody is distributing it so so the information is gradually getting you know percolated in the in the entire system so here it is very clear that when the market came to know about the announcement it priced the stock at 640 630 but 
the price had already moved 15% before it moved another 15% on this announcement. So this is a, a, another example of how the price, uh, you know, absorbs the news even before it comes to the market. So Bhav Bhagwan Che here as well. Now, the, the learnings from here that we want to derive is that a good company can have a bad price and a bad company can have a good price. You must always understand this. This concept is that we, let's say we have a very good company with great management, great uh, financials, everything, but it may be sh showing you a price, a declining price trend for the last two, three years. It may be possible. There are several such examples. Nobody is able to understand why this is happening. You know, for instance, uh, we saw that in the case of ITC at one point of time, where the stock languished for seven years in at a, a case of Hindustan levers, case of Reliance Industries languishing for seven to nine years. It can always happen. Great companies, but poor pricing. Right. The reverse can also happen. A bad company, but a great price. You know, you know that. Uh, the company is not so good, the management is not so strong, the corporate governance is not so strong. But yet, despite all that, whatever assets that they have, whatever book value that they have, whatever potential that they have, the market is pricing it much, much lower. So a good company can also have a bad price uh, or sorry, a bad com company can also have a good, good price. Now, usually, as I mentioned earlier, also a good or a bad result or a good or a bad announcement is baked into the price before it is released and you would have if you have been in the markets for some time you would have experienced it many many times not once not twice but many many times where uh, you know when you thought the market uh, the, the stock should go up from here it actually made a top and when you thought the, the stock should have bottomed there it is actually you know going further down so uh, a lot of things happen uh, within the uh, uh, you know the absorption of the of the news into the price which we may not be able to gather as outsiders so the price move itself the bhav is actually you know something that should give you a leading indicator as to what is happening and and the na other narrative should take a back seat usually the conventional way of uh, investing is that you believe the narrative and then you look at the price whereas in momentum investing for instance we look at the price and not really the narrative. The price should be able to guide us what is happening to the stock. If the price is moving up, you are you are saying it's a it's it's a potential to buy. If the price is moving down, you are saying no, it is not a potential to buy. It is a potential to sell now. Okay. Another very good concept that you want to keep in your mind while while thinking of the bhav is that results are a snapshot of what the company did in the past. Very few people think about this. You know, you get a quarterly result. Now, what is that quarterly result? That quarterly result is essentially the report card of last three months performance of the company. Right? Yes, you may compare it to the previous three months. You may compare it to one year before, but it's a snapshot of the past for sure. And in our minds and in our you know, hope we project the same forward saying that, you know, we expect the company to keep performing on this trajectory for the next three months, six months, five years, 10 years, so on and so forth. But that is usually never the real case. You know, either the company will uh, perform much way better than that, or the company, company may perform, you know, much lower than that. But for convenience, we, you know, we try to project it forward on our Excel sheets. And prices which are discounting what, you know, the bhav is uh, absorbing from, from not just from this result from, but from all the demand and supply of the stock is actually absorbing things that will, that are based on expectations of what happens in the future and, and has little to do with what has happened in the past. So this is a very key sort of uh, difference that you need to absorb. Let's take another example. Let's take the classic example of uh, Yes Bank. This is the Yes Bank stock going from 10 rupees to 55 rupees uh, and then coming down to 10 rupees, then going to 400 rupees, then dropping to 5, 6 rupees, then going to 25, now at 60. 
uh, you can ignore this super trend overlay but just for clarity uh, that one indicator could have given you you know so much of additional information it is there for that purpose now the price when it started to move down here you know somewhere around 230 to 200 220 it the price has had established that you know something is going wrong something is going wrong and once the price moved below this pivot at 140 it it really all kinds of technical studies are pointing towards the fact that something has really gone bad in this company from 420 below 150 and it is not really able to sustain now what is happening the narrative is on the other side the narrative is that okay some problem has happened now the new management is going to come in it's going to restore the confidence it will resurrect the bank the new management is extremely uh, you know uh, uh, competent and uh, so that's that's how you know you will keep that hope up and you will keep buying but the price is telling you something different even the stock stays in the nifty index right from when it where it was 400 till about 22 rupees when it came that is where it was removed from the index so even if you were an index investor you were invested in yes bank all this uh, 90 percent 95 percent fall because it was a part of the index so usually people are late to create a action around the narrative that has played out so the narrative was that there is some problem in the bank the price is leading that narrative and the narrative is actually following it. So, so if you were watching the price and taking actions based on price, you probably would have exited maybe, you know, maybe somewhere near 200, maybe somewhere near 150, but certainly not waiting till, you know, double digit uh, low, low teens here. So this, this is the kind of, uh, you know, benefit that you will derive out of price action and the concept that price is God. So some benefits of this are, that the decision is really clear if you are following the bhav the decision is really clear because you are not confused in your mind there is no ambiguity that what will happen if, if my process says sell below a certain price then you have to sell below that certain price there is no ambiguity about it when you will make that crystal clear decision you will free up your capital to be used more effectively so if i am not sitting in a stock which is bleeding because I am not in a hope trade, I will take that capital out. Yes, I have got a hit on that capital of 30%, but I will essentially deploy, redeploy that capital into some other opportun, uh, opportunistic uh, trade and hope to recover from there. Again, uh, the opportunity cost of just sitting in, uh, in, in, in bleeding stocks or stagnant stocks for years together is extremely harmful for your portfolio. I think more than trying to find multi baggers or you know trying to find stocks that really fly what we need to do is to use our capital effectively and not allow uh, you know bleeding to happen in our stocks and of course one is very very peaceful you know when your decision making is clear where your position sizing is clear when you have no ambiguity no fear in the mind that what will i do if this happens there is no regret in your mind that if I sell, stock may go up. If I buy, stock may go down. Uh, you know, no confusion of that kind because you are getting totally, uh, you know, secured by these four questions that you are answering. What to buy, when to buy, how much to buy and when to sell. So this is the core concept of momentum investing that I am telling you here. But it ties up very well into this huge principle the bbc principle bhav bhagwan where you are saying i am following the price the the price is god and my ego is not bigger than uh, you know what the market the market knowledge is there so i will believe that what the market is telling me is right there is a huge difference in the concept that i when i say that i know the market is wrong and i am right Whereas in the other case, in the in the in the price movement case, price theory case, you are saying I'm, I'll allow the market to guide me and I'll follow the market. I hope you like this content and you are able to, uh, you know, put this into use in your investing journey. It will really immensely help you, and you know, create that uh, super portfolio, super returns, super gains, and super peaceful investing way of life that you always wanted. Thank you so much. Bye.
Investments in securities are subject to market risks. Read all related documents carefully before investing.